When you think great performance irons, a few things come into your mind. Number one, probably hollow body design would be one of them. Okay, so what about hollow body design and a titanium face? Now, they say these are the best feeling irons on the market. And when I say they, I mean Callaway. And these are a new iron in the Apex family. Yes, there is three this year. These are the T. I fusion and they say these irons have and i'm going to read this off here for you superior materials unmatched performance revolutionary speed unimaginable feel incredibly consistent ball speed and spin and they say this is the blurb a player's performance iron that is precisely engineered with a titanium face and forged hollow bodied construction we've leveraged the most advanced materials to provide performance enthusiasts with exceptional power, feel, and consistency. Now we've heard it all before, so how do these actually perform? Before that, let's take a closer look. Let's take the wrapper off this iron. This is the pitching wedge within the set. Now at first glance, I have to say right now, they are real eye catcher. They look absolutely beautiful. I, I mean, you know, you've seen the channel a lot. I'm a big fan of a really blacked out club, even with the shaft to match. But yeah, you've got the little dash of Callaway here, the sort of chrome effect here with the apex, the little subtle TI fusion on the bottom, and here is the face. And I'll be honest, there's a few things coming into my mind right now. I'm gonna get some numbers, let's get three shots away here, and let's get some ball speed numbers and see how these actually perform. And then we'll put them to the test in the real world scenario. And, and what I mean by that is out the rough, out the fairway, how close can we get it to the flag when I would use this pitching wedge. But with it being a blacked out club, there's always that fear, isn't there? Will the back mark? Will it scratch? I mean, let's try and put this to the actual test. Well, maybe even smack some golf clubs on the back of it. I feel bad doing that, but you want to know if this is going to mark within two minutes of use. Okay, first one away. Well, that was a little thin, so that's going to be interesting to go. That's the first shot of the day. Whoa, we're dancing. So this being the first shot of the day, that was well. a 127 yard carry. A ball speed of 105, and I guess anything sort of around the 100 to 105, maybe 115 number, I would be absolutely over the moon with. So with that being my first shot, and actually my first actual swing of the day, I'm not too fussed about that. Right, let me just show you this down behind the ball. I'm also thinking, where does this sort of fit? Because you've got the AI 200 in the Apex family this year, which is hollow bodied construction. So for me, is the only difference the material, i.e. this one has titanium? Well. I'll tell you what the differences are as we go through. I just find it odd that they would add this in, unless it's just going to be, well, it is super, super expensive. Down behind the ball, that is really pleasing on the eye, isn't it? Like, look at that right there. You are going to turn some heads pulling these out. Now, the things that I like right now is that the face is a slightly lighter shade well, actually, you'd probably say the face is grey as opposed to the rest of the club being blacked out. And then this top line is on the thinner side, but you know you've got that forgiveness of the hollow body design. Okay, let's go for ball number two of the day. Let's see what ball speeds we can achieve. That was absolutely ripped. I can't hit a better pitch wedge than that. That was so out the middle. Woo, baby. 109.6 ball speed, 134 carry. I did have to say that felt really good. I don't feel it sounds any different to a normal iron. It's not like I'm going, yeah, this definitely is titanium, which I would probably say is a good thing. I know as golfers, let me know down below what you think about this. We're a bit funny when it comes to sound. So if we can have technological advances, but not have a difference in sound, I actually think that's a pretty good thing. Now, Callaway say these are the superior materials that give unmatched performance. Now, a little bit of research here on titanium. Titanium is the most advanced material that provides unmatched iron performance. Our industry-leading brazed titanium construction capitalized on the power of the titanium face combined with the exceptional forge feel of steel. 
No iron combines these performance materials into one iron like we have here in the Apex TI Fusion. They're not hanging back on that, are they? They are not hanging back. I have to say, I haven't really heard about it. We've heard of 3D printed, but we've not really heard about this. Okay. Let's hit another one here. Ball speed is up there right now. Again, I wanted it sort of around that 110 mark. 130 yards of carry is very, very good on a morning like this. Okay, last ball away in terms of like numbers and we'll put this in the real world. That was absolutely, I didn't get it better than the first one. The second one, sorry. Can't get my words out. That's on the green as well. That is on the green. 139 carry, 109 ball speed. Pretty impressive start. Now, I feel bad for doing this, but look, how many clubs I have in my bag right there. I'm gonna shove this iron right in the mix. Now, why I'm doing that is, it's black, it's a black iron, isn't it? Get it in there, get it in there, right? Because if we're spending a fortune on a set of irons and you use them for two minutes, and again, I guess say this because they're black, they get scratched, that is not a good thing. They've got to be good. They've got to be made in a certain way that that doesn't happen. Okay, let's have a look where these are finished. You know what? These are good shots. If this was the hole that we were playing as a par three, I would take every single down one of them. They're not bad shots at all, are they? There's the first and the third shot, and there is the second. Now, these will come at a huge, huge price point. You know anyway, when you hear the word Apex, they come at that upper echelon price. So you have to anticipate with this being <laughs> an Apex and a titanium face, the most advanced materials. You hear these words and your wallet should be worried. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, this is going through me a little bit, but... Okay, right. Uh, I was worried about this a little bit and I feel bad for doing this because, I mean, you probably wouldn't do it if it was a silver looking iron. I like, in fact, I will show you the pitching wedge on the AI Fusion, on the AI 200, and you'll see a little bit of differences here in the material. But remember, they're both hollow body construction. There's just a slight differences. So let me grab the Apex AI 200, which I feel like the Fusion is like the upgraded version of this. And let me grab the TI Fusion here, Titanium Fusion. Okay, so bear in mind, I, I, I did, which I guess is a little strange. You, you feel like they're sort of so similar in that sense. Why is it not in there? There's obviously different technology going on because it's obviously something they will have explored. But yeah, you don't have that. But let me just give that a bit of a clean because I filmed the other day with this iron and look, it is literally still like brand new. Like look, like brand new. Whereas I have only hit a few shots with that, but you can even see this is starting to mark. So this is whacking against the clubs in your bag. This is what I feared. It, it would mark. There's definitely some marks appearing. Now, I do have to say, I was incredibly impressed with the feel. Let's now hit some from the rough. So the first shot away was straight down the barrel. And look at this. The one thing I would say is I actually caught this a little thin, but it's still got some good height on it. And we'll have to see if it's still got some good distance. Whereas the second shot was a far more superior hit. A nice high look, a nice high finishing shot. And you know what? That's exactly what you want from a wedge. It felt good, but like the Apex AI 200, I would say like I can't personally tell much of the difference between that titanium and that sort of steel finish, what you have in the AI 200. Okay, so this is where they finished. So there is ball number one, straight down the barrel, and there is ball number two. And I can't really criticize it really, can I? I've not really, well, not really, I've not missed a green at all. Okay, so let's finish this test by hitting the sum from the fairway. Let's see what spin control we get. And uh, let's see if we can play, let's play three shots on the fairway. Two normal, one punchy. So let's drive to this next spot. So essentially, what Callaway says is this titanium material allows more face deflection and therefore more interaction with the grooves between the ball and the club face. Now, anytime you have that, essentially you're gonna have more control. This is a good thing and that's what they're saying titanium really allows them to create. And I, you know what, I, I like it. I, 
can get on board with that. But it comes back to this, right? Is that price hike that's gonna be there justified? And I wanna ask you a question. What do you think about that marking? What I mean by the marking is, what do you think about how this is looking right here after just being in my bag? Because that's how we're looking right now. Now, the reason why I'm scrutinizing this so much, I love what Cobra did with their irons early this year in the sense of the brand new dark speed. But the color put me off. The one huge problem was it sort of gets roughed up and marked like this is doing. We are 140 yards out on the nose. That is a nasty flag. I'm gonna take dead aim, two full shots, and then we'll go a little further forward and hit those punchy ones. All right, come on, Alex. Let's get this dialed in. That was, that was a first shot. I'm not gonna lie, that felt absolutely pure off the face. That stopped pretty quick, you know, too. That really did. That's the first one I've gone, you know what? That felt absolutely awesome. That felt really good. Eat your own words, Alex, eat your own words. Can we make it two for two down the throat of that flag? Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. <laughs> Again, that stopped so quickly. You've got to see that. Look where I hit that from. You can sort of see the glisten out the middle of the middle and you actually see a bit of my markings that I put on my ball where I hit that from. So I'm not gonna lie, those two shots right there, I do start to feel this iron is coming into its own. You, you could really almost feel that, that face go whoop, boof with that golf ball. That's a really weird expression. But again, they were straight down the throat of the flag. The first one was definitely hit better than the second, but equally the finish within, anyway, throw a blanket over them. But now, listen to this. This is one of the most enjoyable shots that I've hit in a very long time. Little back foot, punchy wedge, look at the flight. And again, the feel, it was very, very good. It really, really was good. Let's go and just see where these are finished. Now, you, you might be thinking, why on earth have Callaway used titanium? Well, titanium is the same material that they use in driver faces. It's extremely efficient and it produces a larger sweet spot. I guess that's why it explains why all manufacturers have used that in faces, obviously apart from TaylorMade in their QI10, the Stealth and Stealth 2 range, because they have gone carbon. This is where the balls have finished. Here's the two full shots and this is the punchy one. But look how quick they stopped. That is what we want to see. Pitch mark ball, pitch mark ball. Let's get these repaired. Am I impressed with these irons? Am I impressed with these irons? I don't know. Tell you what, I am impressed with the overall look. They do feel very good off the face, but I don't know if I could really tell the difference between these and the AI200. They're both hollow bodied construction. For me, the only things that are different in this is the materials that are used. But still, the AI200 and the Apex family is a brilliant iron. And I would probably go for that. Just simply, simply, I'm not saying this is a bad iron because a lot of people will look at this and go, yeah, that black finish is cool. But just let me give you this again. I would have to get some iron head covers which I absolutely detest because I'd be so worried about it marking on the back you know where the clubs are hitting. That is my honest review of the Apex TI Fusion irons. If you did enjoy this don't forget to subscribe because we get access to all the equipment before everybody else and most importantly before it hits the market.